Hey guys, Dave from Gorilla Painting here, and now it's time to take a look at what's probably this month's biggest release, the Horus Heresy Betrayal at Kalth box set from Games Workshop. Now, most of you will know that I've been a 30k or Horus Heresy fan from way back. I've already completed my World Eaters army, but uh, it's great to see that these miniatures are coming out in plastic, and there's a standalone board game to go with this as well, although uh, most of the hype seems to have forgotten about that. So let's crack it open and take a look. So popping the top of the box open, you'll see that this has got a lot of plastic in here. Um, there's a huge amount of miniatures. Um, one of my favourites is you do get a Contempt of Dreadnought. It's a little bit more monoposed than what you can do with the Forge World ones. But you've got two sets of weapons options here. You can do the Assault Cannon and Power Fist, or you can use Melter Guns. Um, and there might actually be enough parts to do two Power Fists. I haven't double checked, but still, it's looking pretty cool. Then we've got plenty of Mark IV Troopers. Now, the nice thing about this is there's a whole lot of extra parts. So you've got some of these little leather Talbots. But there's plenty of weapons options, so you've got plasma pistols, there's some crested helmets as well. There's a melter gun, and some combi weapon options, so there's the flamer, combi melter, uh, combi volkite, I think that one is. Uh, there's a storm bolter, I think these are the phobus pattern bolters as well. Um, there's a few power fists in there too. And you get two of those sprues. Then here's the character sprue. So there's one character in Cataphracty Terminator armor, and he's got a Chain Fist and Storm Bolter from the looks of things. And then there's also a Chaplain uh, who comes with the Crozius and a Combi Melter, it looks like. Next is what's probably going to be a lot of people's favorites, is a plastic Cataphracty Terminator sprue. So again, there's plenty of options on here. There's a heavy flamer. There's enough lightning claws to get, put the whole squad with lightning claws. Or you can go with the storm bolters and chain swords. So that's really cool. There's a reasonable amount of detail on these. Probably not as much as the Forge World Cataphracty Terminators, but that's to be expected with the shift across to plastic. And then there's three of these tactical sprues. So once again, there's heaps of options. You've got the old school style missile launcher, which is one of my personal favorites. There's a heavy bolter and um, yeah, plenty, uh, ooh, there's a flamer in here too. Some parts for lightning claws, plasma gun, power sword, and uh, plenty of marines. So you're gonna be able to build a heap of miniatures from this and at a lot cheaper than the Forge World stuff would cost you. Then we've got the rule book here, so this is for the board game itself. So really nicely produced, it's in a similar style as the Forge World box, which are one of my personal favourites. So you've got some good shots of the weapons, and this will help you sort of design your colour schemes and stuff like that. Explanations of the scenarios, uh, some big full cover, full cover art and then um, some more of the background of the Horus Heresy. So you're not going to see as much as you would in those big Forge World books, but looks like there's a reasonable amount in here. These pages here, for instance, are great for uh, learning your colour schemes and theming out your miniatures. So one of the nice things about these miniatures here is they don't have any Legion icons on them, so you can paint them up however you like. So it's looking pretty cool. Here's your assembly guide. A big box of bases. Here these cool dice. Um, not sure what they do yet. There's blanks, there's some scales, hits, a um, little thing which may be healing. I'm not sure. It looks like the apothecary symbol. Uh, but that's for the new board game. Your unit cards. Um, now I've always been a big fan of unit cards um, for, for games. Uh, it helps you keep track of stuff really nicely. So good stack of those. And then we'll finish it off with the tiles. So they're quite thick, uh, looks like they're about four millimeters thick or so, perhaps three. Uh, so they should be fairly hard wearing and there's a good deal of detail on them. Um, and then you've got the counters and stuff around the outside. So from my point of view, I'm actually looking forward to this as a game itself 
um, is something a little bit different because I don't need the miniatures and stuff um, as much as some people because I already have a full list but uh, it's a good box um, it's fairly expensive here in New Zealand the RRP is 315 uh, but you can pick it up from local stores such as Mighty Ape for about 265 so it's a cool set um, the miniatures are really are looking really nice uh, there's some good value in there so uh, it's sure to be very popular so until next time guys happy modeling <laughs>